Hello and welcome to this quick introduction on complex numbers with the DreamCalc Scientific Calculator. Here's a quick reminder to begin. A complex number has two parts and is expressed in the form A plus BI where A is the real part of the number and B the imaginary part. The letter I represents the imaginary unit where I is equal to the square root of minus 1. Let's demonstrate. Square root minus 1 equals 1i. Now, thinking about imaginary numbers is one of the hardest kinds of thinking there is. So if you're new to the idea, or have previously been told that it's simply not possible to take the square root of a negative number, there's an introductory link below this video with further information. For now, we'll assume that you're familiar with the idea. By default, DreamCalc handles complex numbers naturally, and it may give you a complex result wherever no real solution to your calculation exists, although there is an option to disable complex calculation altogether. In this case, DreamCalc would instead give you an error if you were to take the square root of a negative value, as we've just done. But let's assume that we want to use complex numbers, and continue with an example. So here we have the product, 7 plus 5i multiplied by 3 minus 9i. Now, to input a complex number, we are going to use the separator key here, to separate between its real and imaginary parts. This is somewhat different to many other calculators, and there's no need to input parentheses around the number, as DreamCalc will do this for us. So let's go ahead with the first part of the input. 7 separator 5 multiplied by Now, with the second number, we'll need to use the sign key, or soft minus, with its negative imaginary part. 3 Separator minus 9 equals 66 minus 48i. So let's grab the result and copy it into our presentation. Copy. Let's now look at the absolute value of a complex number, which is defined as its distance from the origin when plotted on a complex plane. The Pythagorean theorem tells us that it equals the square root of the sum a squared plus b squared. So let's find the absolute value of our last result. Shift Absolute Shift Last answer equals 81.609 copy and we'll copy this into the page finally let's finish with an example using the complex conjugate taking the complex conjugate of a value simply reverses the sign of its imaginary component and whenever we multiply a complex value by its conjugate as shown the result is always a real number. Let's demonstrate. 5 separator 3 multiplied by Now, the DreamCalc conjugate function operates in a postfix manner, as indicated by the small left arrow prefixed to the name on the key. This avoids us having to input the number twice, because we can simply use it on the current display value, like so. Shift conjugate equals 34. Copy. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like DreamCalc, please share it with your friends and click like in the lower bar.